such as the chair, to allow one public speaker, and that is Mike Cibolo. Mr. Cibolo? Yes, thank you. Uh, Please identify yourself for the record. Yes, thank you very much. I might add. I apologize for not being able to make it earlier. Uh, my name is Mike Cibolo. I'm here uh, about myself. I have taught all grades. I, I was fortunate enough to be a, a uncertified teacher. They were desperate. I have a technical background in science and math. The reason I'm here is uh, I went to Deerfield Beach High School uh, as a student, and in Rapid City, uh, where, where I spent a number of years, um, Rapid City, unfortunately, was the first community to have a student walk in with a shotgun. And as we all know, our community has had some, some serious things happen lately as well. Um, in fact, I'm not going to ask you questions. I know you can't answer, but it is a federal statistic, not mine, it's not my opinion, that one out of five children, children, before, before reaching the age of 18, has been exposed to something that has met a degree of criminal prosecutability, not just something that would make a parent upset. And this is our government's federal statistics. These come out every four years. They are not mentioned. I do not know why. But here's the deal. There is nobody between those kids and what's happening to them other than you. There's no one who has a hat whose job it is. The people who gather the statistics, our federal government, also gather statistics on how much salad they're eating and a bunch of other things. That's what's published. This statistic has been out there for a decade. I wrote about it 15 years ago. I'm not the only one. I don't want to discuss this statistic. That's not why I'm here. It is one out of five. You can look it up. So whose job is it? You are the only ones who can do anything. Okay. First off, how can you do it? It's not your job. Who's going to let you? And what can be done? Triage. You can find out what the numbers are. For our students, quarter million students, real numbers. It's called anonymous polling. If it costs a million dollars, I could ask you for a million dollars and you'd be all impressed and give it to me. It involves a penny. You flip a penny. You ask the students. You, you tell them. If it's heads, you say yes. If it's tails, you answer the question. I had planned on giving you each a penny and inquiring as to whether your favorite pie was apple or pumpkin. It's a bit complicated because you can't answer, so I'm going to skip ahead. We could still do it. I could ask you to write on a piece of paper pick the top or the bottom. I could ask you to do it now if I can't ask you for your permission. <clears throat> but let's say you were to write on a piece of paper. I'd say, okay, pick one. You pick the top or the bottom. I'd say, okay, call the top heads, bottoms, tails. Have you, now, if it were children, I can phrase this much more carefully. Three minutes is the end of the day. It could be phrased as, you know, and you will spend hours deliberating this. Believe me, the question can be phrased. Has anything happened that you were uncomfortable, that you felt trapped and you couldn't share with an adult? It could be that simple. And you can have an answer that will not uh, upset parents. It won't upset the kids. Uh, if I ask, uh, excuse me for pointing, but one of you, whether your favorite pie is apple or whatever, you won't tell me. But I can ask all of you. You'll. You'll say heads, heads, tails, tails, heads, 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 tails, tails. None of you will know whose favorite pie or whatever. Okay, so we can ask our children these tough questions. Okay, that is not an excuse. Yes, I'm out of time. Okay. Yes, you wrap up, please. But to wrap up, please consider, and perhaps we should have a discussion. We could have a meeting, board meetings, uh, talk with you people, whatever is necessary. One thing I was very encouraged, you are all so motivated. We're all talking about money. Please don't think about any of these things. It's not an issue of money. It is an issue of acknowledging that there's a problem and then worrying about it. If a child is on fire, and that's what we're talking about, this is literal abuse, and they're on fire now, not next month, not last month. It's not someone else's kids. As we're speaking, out of a quarter of a million kids, uh, students, 50, are, are newly being abused as we're speaking. And they're on fire in pain now this second. So it is not a matter of whose hat is it. The CDC quietly changed the rules on everyone and mentioned, oh, by the way, this is transmittable community-wise. Not familially, not within families, but if you are born within a community that starts to exhibit these problems, culturally, our brains respond. I can be raised in a convent. My brain will respond to what your children do. Do you understand this? If you don't, you need to. It is your responsibility. 
It is not a matter of a child being abused and they'll get over it. It is a physical change. It's not that they are thinking short. Sorry, they are short. Their legs have been cut off. Sorry. Flip the coin, please. I would, would love to talk to you at a later point about this. It is very important. All our kids, we can find out now what the real numbers are. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. The business of the school board of Broward County is now complete, and I am adjourning this meeting. Thank you, everyone. A long day. A long day.